Hi there, and this is part two um, of some videos I'm doing, which is looking at um, various fruits and uh, vegetables and trying to understand um, which of them have a higher level of uh, catalase than others. Um, so basically just to recap on the test, I mean, it's pretty much a simple experiment. Um, inside each of these glasses, we've got um, a solution uh, which has hydrogen peroxide in it. It's about 9%. It's the stuff that you get as a disinfectant you can buy from the chemists and I'm pretty much just um, carrying out a simple experiment of, of dropping each of these uh, samples into the glass and seeing which one reacts the most and when I mean react um, what we're hoping to see is the uh, catalase enzyme inside um, the fruits uh, reacting with the hydrogen peroxide and um, breaking that down into water and oxygen and the bubbles that we'll see um, if the reaction is successful uh, will be the oxygen now obviously this is just a bit of kitchen chemistry so um, I'm not getting too scientific here but just trying to get an idea of uh, kind of what uh, fruits uh, have catalase um, and which ones don't and those that do try and understand which ones um, have more than the others. So the samples we got here today, uh, we've got the banana, uh, we've got pineapple, uh, we've got melon, uh, avocado, actually I think these two are the wrong way around. Uh, that there and then we've got apple. Now from my understanding um, apparently apple doesn't have much catalase in it so we shouldn't see much reaction to that. Apparently avocado has a lot so we should see stuff from that and also the other three do as well. Which one though I'm not really sure so let's drop them in and find out. So first we'll drop the apple in, uh, then we'll go with the avocado, then we'll go with the melon, Pineapple, and last but not least, banana. Okay, now already you can see the avocado is properly going off there. And as expected, well, we're getting sort of slight reaction with the apple. Um, as for the other two, uh, we've got some bubbling on the melon. And not much happening on the pineapple, which is unusual. And uh, quite a lot seems to be happening with the banana. So that's strange. I mean, obviously the fruit samples I'm using here are just sort of standard stuff you buy in the shop, cut roughly to the same size, so maybe the quality might be affecting the reaction. But we'll leave this for a bit. Uh, we'll come back and um, see what's happening. But definitely the avocado is properly um, bubbling up there, so already, as expected, at um uh, the current uh, one in front. Okay, so we'll set this down here, come back later and uh, have a look. Okay, <clears throat> so it's been about 20 minutes. Um, just to get the reactions going, I decided to bash the pieces up a bit, see if we could get any more of a reaction out of them. Um, so if we take a look here at the apple, um, I mean, as expected, I mean, there is a bit of bubbling there, so um, that's, um, that's some activity there, but I'd say that's relatively low. I mean, again, the avocado is properly bubbling away there, so I'm actually surprised how much is in there. Um, well, it's clearly one of the highest. Um, the melon as well. Um, some bubbling, not too much. Uh, the pineapple. Now... I was expecting more from that because um, uh, from what I've read, you know, they're claiming that um, this quite, has quite high levels in there, but clearly not with this one. Now, with the melon and the pineapple, I was just wondering if it was maybe down to their ripeness. Possibly if they're more ripe, uh, maybe they might have more of the enzyme inside. I'm not sure. So I'd have to maybe come back to those two. And the banana, as expected um, as well. They say that's quite a lot. Um, so, I mean, looking at these two samples um, between the avocado and the banana, they're clearly the best ones, probably then followed by uh, the other three, um, which um, I can't say there's a lot in it. I mean, possibly the apple's got a bit more. Mind you, since I've broken up the two, uh, the pineapple and the melon, they seem to be going a bit better. So, yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah. Um, I mean, 
it's possible that even the um, avocado and the banana are beating the parsnip from uh, the test I did in part one. But um, I'm wondering maybe it's because uh, the parsnip's a bit of a dry fruit and I hadn't mashed that up properly, so possibly um, had I chopped it up more, we'd probably see more of a reaction. But hey-ho. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, that was of uh, some interest to you and uh, thanks for watching.